working. I now give the floor to Mr. Jorge Moreira da Silva. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to thank you for the invitation to provide a uh, briefing to the Council uh, on the operationalization of the uh, UN 2720 mechanism for Gaza. Uh, I would like to, to start by um, uh, thanking uh, the Senior Humanitarian Construction Coordinator, Ms. Sigrid Kak, for her crucial leadership and tireless uh, efforts. These have been not only fundamental to enable the activation of the mechanism, but also it has been crucial in bringing the key stakeholders together on the critical political decisions that enable our work um, and the work of the humanitarian colleagues. UNOPS is committed to supporting the mandate of the Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator, along with our uh, other efforts to enable the work of the UN system and humanitarian responders in Gaza. Uh, in January, during my visit to, to Gaza, I had the chance to speak not only with the colleagues from UNOPS, but also from the UN system, uh, about the truly challenging environment and its impact on their work. When UNOPS was asked by the Sec General to support uh, Ms. CAC's mandate uh, this past December, we delivered a design of the mechanism that is meant to deliver uh, a single comprehensive humanitarian aid supply chain management system for Gaza, address the unpredict unpredictability of pipelines, delays uh, uh, at screening points, multiple inspections and translating points, and building confidence and transparency in the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza. Mr. President, since May of this year, the mechanism has been running the integrated database covering humanitarian consignments going through Cyprus, and since June, um, those along the Jordan corridor. It has also captured consignments being sent from the West Bank and from inside uh, Israel. The database moves away from counting trucks uh, and provides the capacity to look at actual supplies entering Gaza compared to the identified needs. It is publicly accessible to anyone who wishes to send humanitarian aid to Gaza. Since this, its activation, 229 humanitarian aid consignments have requested clearance through the mechanism, 175 consignments have been approved, 101 uh, have been delivered, 17 are pending clearance, and 37 have been rejected. This information is available. This translates into more than 20,000 metric tons of humanitarian aid cargo delivered to Gaza through the facilitation uh, of the mechanism, out of which over 20,000 metric tons of food and nutrition consignments, close to 1,000 metric tons of shelter consignments, 400 metric tons of wash supplies, uh, over 170 metric tons of medical aid, and close to 50 metric tons of protection uh, supplies and smaller consignments of other uh, humanitarian aid supplies. These figures uh, are also publicly available on the Mechanism uh, Lives dashboard, which has uh, been launched earlier last uh, week. The consignments were primarily delivered through the uh, Jordan Corridor, uh, the direct route uh, from Jordan to Gaza that was formalized and regularized under the mechanism to provide much needed predictability and regularity and to address the backlog challenges that accompany convoys undergoing multiple inspection and transloading points. Uh, those humanitarian aid consignments uh, that are delivered through the Jordan uh, corridor undergo one uh, single inspection point in Jordan and the single transloading point in Gaza, compared before the mechanism to three inspection points and four transloading points on the back-to-back -back route. A smaller portion of the above consignments were delivered through the Cyprus corridor, which represent a vital supplementary route for delivering humanitarian aid to Gaza. Uh, it is not intended to replace uh, or divert attention from existing land uh, or sea corridors, but rather to enhance overall capacity. Responding to donor requests for a UN-led and humanitarian-focused approach, UNOP stands ready to address the current logistical challenges for the Cyprus corridor by offering uh, an end-to-end -end solution, ensuring uh, the coordinated, efficient, and transparent delivery of aid. In order to support 
the regularization of the corridors under the mechanism. INOPS has deployed 14 international monitors to Cyprus and Jordan. They verify the humanitarian nature of each consignment, facilitate the approval for the consignment to proceed uh, to Gaza and track the consignment from their point of origin until they are handed over to the final consignee in Gaza for onwards delivery. This very mechanism fosters confidence building among all uh, and provides transparency informing uh, all of us that what was sent to Gaza indeed make its way to its final destination. For consignments that are not permitted, the mechanism requires a justification from the concerned parties. Together with the Office of the Senior Coordinator, we continue to call for more items and consigners to be allowed to enter Gaza. Eleven of our international monitors are also ready to deploy inside Gaza in order to reinforce uh, this important verification and tracking mechanism as an additional enabler of our collective efforts to accelerate and increase the amount of humanitarian aid reaching the civilian population in Gaza. Regarding the Egypt corridor, over the past 11 months, the Egyptian route has served as a vital lifeline for delivering aid to the people of Gaza. We are working closely with Egyptian authorities to fully integrate this route into the 2720 mechanism. Initial approval has been secured, and my team is in Cairo this week to finalize the integration process. Once completed, the 2720 mechanism will provide a comprehensive real-time overview of all humanitarian cargo entering to Gaza from every supply route. This will enable better prioritization, tracking, and monitoring of relief efforts right up to the point of delivery. Through the joint uh, 2720 database, we will strengthen coordination and efficiency, ensuring that aid reaches those who need it most swiftly and effectively. Mr. President, uh, as part of the mechanism, we have committed to, to support the full operational capacity of each corridor. That's why I would like to just add uh, two more elements uh, that uh, strengthen uh, these uh, elements. Uh, UNOPS is procuring 280 trucks for the Jordan Corridor, constructing, constructing 10 additional warehousing spaces for the Jordan Hashmit Charity uh, Organization and establishing two truck holding areas at King Hussein Bridge Crossing and inspection site in Jordan. In addition, we are procuring 38 trucks for use by the humanitarian community inside Gaza uh, in order to enable the delivery of the humanitarian aid consignments arriving via the uh, direct, uh, the different corridors. We have procured uh, the necessary armored vehicles, communications, and other security uh, equipment that will enable the operational capacity of the mechanism uh, international monitors inside Gaza, the 11 monitors, without uh, exerting pressure on the already limited resources of the rest of the humanitarian community. Uh, our progress towards design, establishment and operationalization of the mechanism would not have been possible without the generous and dedicated support of the member states who have contributed financially to uh, support in, in support of the mechanism. Here I would like to specifically recognize the governments of Australia, Denmark, Estonia, the Netherlands, the United Arab Emirates, the United States, and the Mendero Foundation, as well as the governments of Canada and Germany, who have pledged additional contributions. Mr. President, I would like also to thank member states uh, and our local partners. We are enabling the operations of the mechanism on the ground. We cannot overemphasize the challenges of delivering humanitarian response in Gaza right now. The design and implementation of the mechanism matter immensely, and we remain committed to excellence. Yet, the effective delivery of aid at the scale required will simply not be possible, simply will not be possible without political will, necessary security and safety guarantees, and an enabling environment. Along with the rest of the UN uh, uh, family, UNOPS is determined to stay and deliver for the people of Gaza, both to respond to immediate humanitarian needs and to support the immense recovery and reconstruction efforts that are so desperately needed. Allow me here to also emphasize the critical and irreplaceable role that UNRWA plays in Gaza as the key implementer of our collective will. Thank you. <clears throat>